Lovely afternoon, everybody. Welcome back in another beautiful lesson as a part of our continuity of presenting grammar to you in more beautiful and entertaining way. Our lesson of today is about the present simple negative. أو كيف تنفي شيء تقوله الآن في الوقت الحالي تحدثنا في الدرس السابق على أنه الشخص اللي يتحدث باللغة الإنجليزية عنده ثلاث أبعاد زمنية أساسية رئيسية اللي هي الماضي المضارع مستقبل ف ضمن المضارع تحدثنا عن كيفية تركيب الجملة باستخدام الفاعل والفعل والتكملة اليوم today راح نتحدث على كيفية نفي شيء في المضارع أو في الوقت الحالي أنا آكل أنا لا آكل A beautiful lesson and two the beginners in English to make a negative sentence, we can use the verb be in the present simple and add not after the verb. For other verbs, the auxiliary do not or does not is used. For example, negatives with the verb be, as an example, I'm a farmer, I am not a doctor, I'm not a farmer. I'm not a doctor. The verb takes the same form in positive and negative sentences. The only difference is adding not. How do we do it? Well, we can simply say, I'm a doctor. I'm not a doctor. She's not a doctor. We're not doctors. And also, there's the contraction. And the purpose of contraction is to shorten. The amount of time you spend saying something that ends with stops, like te, de, ke, ge. One important feature of English and any other language is the feature of continuity. And by continuity, we mean that you should not stop at the middle of the word or at the middle of the sentence or at the middle of clause or at the middle of phrase, regardless of what they are. Now, is not and are not can be contracted in two ways. The subject and verb can be contracted or the verb and not. They mean the same thing. For example, you're not a doctor. But remember, let's just focus on speaking part, not writing part. Because doing abbreviations while you're writing is not preferable in the academic setting. Why? I have no idea but they do not recommend you do abbreviations and contractions and concating or whatever that word is. So you're not a doctor. Think about it. When we talk, we say, you're not a doctor. You're not a doctor. Not a doctor. You're not a doctor is used frequently when there is hypersensitive topic that you need to emphasize. You're a rent a doctor. You're a rent a doctor. So the flow of speech can give the person an idea of whether that sentence is positive or negative. Let's have further examples here. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not a doctor. We should not say I'm I meant a doctor. Or I'm not a teacher. He's not a farmer. He isn't a farmer. They're not American. They aren't American. So, moving to point two point three here, we, we talk about negative or negatives with other verbs in the present simple. It's very straightforward. I work outside. I do not work outside. He works outside or inside. He doesn't work inside. Now, I give super hyper emphasis to the way we say it more than what it means, honestly, because this is partially pronunciation lesson. A lot of people actually say, 
he works inside or he does not or he doesn't. And to me, this doesn't seem like close to native speaker's way of saying it. How to form the negative here, which is the opposite of positive? We can ju just simply say, I or you or we or they do not work outside. He or she or it in very rare cases does not work outside. I can't think of an example where we say it doesn't work outside unless we're talking about a software program or something that doesn't work outside the functionality of the institution. Taking further examples, we can say you do not have a computer. Repeat after me because this is pronunciation partially, grammar partially. You do not have a computer or you don't have a computer. Just don't say you do not or note. You do not, you do not, you do not have a computer. We don't start work at 8 a.m. He doesn't not, he does not live in Los Angeles. He doesn't have a car. Some of the common mistakes that we come across while forming negative sentences are simply when the main verb is in a negative sentence, it should always stay in its base form. So even if the subject is he, she, or it, he does not work outside, but not he does not works outside. This is frequently seen in lots of beginners level English speaking practice, but that comes by practice. So we do not put super emphasis on that because that comes by practice. That was a quick lesson um, of English grammar. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you loved it. And I look forward to see you in another beautiful lesson. Have a lovely and wonderful evening. Mm -hmm.